What's up guys, back with another video, and today we're going to be opening up some of those Legendary Duelist Sisters of the Rose booster packs. Now, um, <clears throat> it took me a little while to find these, I don't know if it was just a late release in my area or what, but there's some pretty cool stuff in this set, including Harpy support, and from what I understand, a bunch of like Black Rose support. Now, I don't know if this is Black Rose Dragon, or um, what exactly we're getting out of here, like if it's direct support for Black Rose Dragon, or just plants in general, but... A lot of people are pretty hyped about it, so we'll go ahead and open this up, and hopefully we do pretty well. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this uh, video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite cards in this set are, um, and we will go ahead and jump into this. So hopefully we can pull something pretty solid. Let's go ahead and... These duelist packs, for whatever reason, don't want to open, right? It never works for me. I had the same problem in some of the other videos as well. All right, so I don't even know what's fully in this set, to be honest. Cyber Petite Angel Reprint, Luna Light Panther Dancer, Harpy's Hunting Ground, definitely a good, you know, just general reprint card. Witch of the Black Rose, I don't know, I'm surprised they reprinted that. And there's one, there's Red Rose Dragon. So, this card is sent to the graveyard as material, special summon a Rose Dragon from your hand or deck. Except itself, uh, then if it was sent for the Synchro Summon a Black Rose Dragon, you can also add a Frozen Rose or Blooming of the Darkest Rose from your deck to your hand. So, it's kind of cool. I don't know if there's other Dragon Tuner support in here um, that, you know, goes with it, but... All right, all right. Let's keep going. Maybe uh, we'll get something cool. All right, a Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation reprint. Ritual Sanctuary, that's a good common, or at least it used to be. Night Express Knight, a Harpy Queen, and Dark Rose Fairy. I can check these out. This card is Special Summon. I'm sorry, if a Tuner is Special Summon, you can special summon your hand. Uh, this card's a very place card. Huh, it's actually decent. It's cool looking. I don't know. I don't know if any of this stuff is actually considered to be meta relevant, but I know there is some uh, train. Train? So, what is that what it is? For the level 10 machine. So, Cyber Angel Benton. Well, I guess if you want to build a Cyber Angel deck, that's pretty much all there. Luna Light Perfume, Construction Train Signal, Mark of the Rose, and Malefic or Magnificent Machine Angel. I'm not going to read that. It's way too long. Way too long for something that doesn't even remotely intrigue me. And I know there's a couple of Harpy cards that are Ultras that are good. Cyber Angel Edatan, Special Schedule, Elegant Egotist, Luna Light Leo Dancer, and this is Harpy Lady Elegance. Again, way too much text for something that's probably not good. No foils yet, though. Obviously, with Duelist Packs, it's not a foil in every pack, so that kind of makes sense, but... It's interesting. All right. Black Garden. Right about the time I actually stopped playing, I know that was starting to become a relatively high demand card, so it makes sense they reprinted it. Harpy Lady Sisters, Luna Lake Kaleido Chick, Snowplow Hustle Russell, and a second Magnificent Machine Angel. Wow, that's um, something else. Legendary Duel Sisters, there was a C. What we're working with here. What do we got? Can we get a foil on this last one? Ruffy and Railcar, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Twilight Rose Knight, Cyber Angel Edidan, and another Dark Rose Fairy. No foils at all out of this, out of six packs. That's kind of depressing, actually. Um, well, look, I was going to do two separate videos with these, but, like, since we didn't get anything, rather than waste everyone's time, I'll just go ahead and fucking do the whole nine yards and open the rest of these in this same video. It's a little, a little frustrating, I think. Normally, just bear with me a moment here as I'm trying to open these off camera. Normally, duelist packs do have better ratios um, than straight up four sets. Like, the odds of getting something on blister is pretty good, but yeah, I just picked some bad ones. I just grabbed everything they had on the sh shelf at Target. There was only like seven packs left, but well, I got six more, so I'll move these little guys off to the side and keep on going. Uh, just because there's really no, no points. I'd like to get something cool, or at least a foil. Special Schedule, Elegant Egotist, Leo Dancer, Ruffian Railcar. There is the Incarnated Machine Angel as the rare, and that is they cannot be destroyed by battle. Um, and you contribute a Cyber Angel to so Special Summon a Cyber Angel Ritual Monster for hand if you take damage. Damn. Maybe a short print or something. Really not sure. Let's keep trying. Blue Rose Dragon, about time. I always thought that card had cool art. Oh, the actual um, Black Rose Dragon itself is in there, so that's kind of cool. Witch of the Black Rose, Cyber Angel Eden, and then Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Really cool art, though. Like, on all of them, from what I've seen so far. Uh, even Blue Rose Dragon, I always thought was a neat card. But it sucks that it's a dragon and not a plant. Um, because I think uh, it had a lot of potential if it was the other way around. Um, the other ones, I think, are plants. 
right? Blue Rose, Ruffian Railcar, Kaleido Chick. There's one, a super rare Harpy's Featherstorm. You control a Wind, Wind Beast monster until the end of your turn. Negate any monster effects your opponent activates. You control a Harpy, you can activate this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed, dispel a trap card zone by a card effect your opponent. Add one Harpy's Feather Dust to your deck or graveyard to your hand. That's actually kind of cool. I wonder if, um, does that mean they're like planning on putting Harpy's Feather Duster back, or is it just sort of like Teehee will just throw it on there? Either way, super. Um, not sure how good it is, but I guess a hand trap that negates monster effects is pretty solid, uh, you know, in that deck. Harpy Lady, Phoenix Formation, Ben 10, Luna Light, Cat Dancer, uh, Machine Angel Ritual, and another Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Really only one foil out of 12 packs. That's a little disappointing. Actually kind of surprised by that, but all right. Blue Rose Dragon, Ruffy and Railcar, Luna Light, Kaleido Chick, Cat Dancer, and then Cyber Egg Angel. This card is summoned. You can add a Machine Angel spell or Ritual Sanctuary from your hand. Huh. It looks like it's got to be a retrain of an old card because I, I know I've seen that picture before. All right, last pack here. Can we hit something? Maybe. Ruffy and Railcar, Night Express, Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, Cyber Angel Ben 10, and Machine Incarnated Angel. So, did not. Um, so that's, you know, a total of 12 packs, one foil. I mean, some duplicates and stuff. I guess the, the, oh, so they are all dragons. The Red Rose Dragon's kind of neat, but the only foil we got was this Harpy's Feather Storm. So I don't, um, wow. Yeah, that's, uh, it's kind of crazy, but. Need enough. It's still a foil. I guess it's better than nothing, but uh, a little bit disappointed. But that's all right. We could try to get some more and do some more openings. If you guys would like to see more uh, openings along this line of this set, feel free to let us know in the comments below what other things you'd like to see open. And as always, if you did enjoy, please like uh, this video because it does really help quite a bit and uh, makes it possible for us to get some more videos and more content going. So let me know what else you'd like to see. And until next time, I'll see you guys.